<laughs> time to write down my thoughts. And I, I wanted to write it down because I wanted to make sure that I was absolutely clear on, on why and, and how we all ended up here. So please indulge me. I've spent my life as a, visual, as a visual artist, and I have on occasion had the good fortune to be invited to collaborate with other artists or individuals who seek to cre create something that makes the world a better place. If one wishes to do something good, one has to have good intentions and a good idea. Good ideas are not the sole domain of the artist. Ideas can be the brainchild of others, such as Dr. Alec Hilliard of the Calgary Region Board of Persons with Developmental Disabilities, it's a long line, who some years ago approached Indefinite Arts and Prospect with the idea of creating a work of art that would serve as a talking piece that could also travel to communities around Alberta. This talking piece was to be about what is important to persons with developmental disabilities. To this end, meetings were held and artists from Indefinite Arts and Prospect came together and the idea began, began to form. What developed was a sculpture that was to be made out of five woven aluminum panels representing how everything is interconnected. These panels would have a color and each represent one aspect of what made up a meaningful life. Contributing uh, to society, independence, community connection, relationships and dignity. 24 artists contributed original works which were then collaged and applied to the sculpture such as the history of the project that might be written and remembered and that might be the end of it, but this is not the end. Great ideas or great art have a funny way of taking on a life of their own. When we started this project, there was no thought that we would end up here today installing our sculpture in this passage overlooking the legislature building. Perhaps when we started this project, we thought all we were trying to do was create something that showed others what was important to persons with developmental disabilities. It's been my experience that some works of art ta tap into universal ideas and truths. What is true about a meaningful life for persons with de developmental disabilities is no different than what is true for all Albertans. <laughs> if all of the artists could please come up for a moment and just join me on the stage. Yes, you guys. The artists, my contemporary. Again, as a, as a professional artist, it's, it's pretty rare that professional artists ever get the opportunity to work with, it, work with each other and be collaborators. And so this is something that I just first, while we're up here, these are all my fellow peers. <laughs> and artists, right? um, so um, we'd like the associate minister. Uh, this is one of the miniatures of our sculpture that were given out in the legislature last spring. And we would like to give you one of these on behalf of all of the artists. And please thank you for being here today thank you very much. and being part of our journey. Thank you very much. Thank you. And if you'd like to say a few Thank you. Good morning, and it is an absolute honor and privilege to be here this morning along with uh, my wonderful colleagues, Honorable Heather Klemchak, who's been introduced as Minister of Culture, of course, our good friend Dave Quest, Associate Minister for Seniors, our good friend uh, Steve Young, MLA from Riverview, and of course, without the Speaker, none of this would have been possible. So thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, for uh, you as well and of course uh, each and every one of you for being here this morning on behalf of our Premier, Honorable Dave Hancock and every one of our colleagues from the Alberta Legislature. Thank you so much for your time, your effort, your presence here today. And of course, I also want to thank you for taking the time out of busy schedules because I know some of you guys have traveled from, from a long distance for your commitment and your dedication and also for being here today as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I've lived in this province for the last 38 years. I came here when I was 17 years old and uh, spent my entire adult life right here in this province. And there's no better province to live in the country of Canada than the province of Alberta. And you heard me say this uh, previously, 300 people move to this province every single day. 
100,000 people are moving here every single year. And the reason being, we are the best province to live, work, and raise our families. I also believe that we are a very dynamic province. Everyone contributes to making our communities inclusive and welcoming. We all have dreams and aspirations and goals we want to achieve in our life. This beautiful sculpture reflects and celebrates those dreams and aspirations of people with developmental disabilities. Everyone should have the opportunity to fulfill their potential and to benefit from a thriving social, economic, and cultural life. The sculpture shows how people with developmental disabilities connect and feel connected to their community, whether through work, volunteering, or recreation.